Good morning, everybody. So today I want to uh, I want to talk to you guys about paths. So I decided to take you guys along on a walk on a path. Um, I got up this morning. I, I wanted to. I'm gonna work out, but I didn't know if I wanted to go to the gym or if I wanted to go for a run. So hey, I'm in the park right now, and it looks like it's gonna be a run, but. I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, speak to you guys about paths. Something that's uh, this has actually been on my on my mind and on my heart for a while, but I haven't recorded a video on it yet. And um, before we get into that, I just want to ask you if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can kindly do so and you know share this message with anybody who you think might uh, benefit from it, or if you like it, you know hit the like button. Um, so. I've been thinking about, I always, I'm always thinking about movies and I always relate um, the things of this life, the things of this world to somehow it always winds up going back to, uh, to scripture when it comes to me. I just, I find a way of tying it together. And um, so one time when I was, as I was reading through, through scripture, and I'm going to read the verse that, that I was reading at that time, it reminded me of a movie. And I don't know if some of you, if you're my age, you probably have seen the movie. Or even if you're not my age, you, you've probably seen it. It's, uh, it's a movie called An American Werewolf in London. And it's from the 80s, sometime in the, in the 80s. So you're saying, well, how, how is he going to relate that to scripture? Well, there's one scene in the movie. Um, I don't know if you guys watched it. But there's one scene in the movie where the two American... Uh, men, young men, who are hiking through Europe, backpacking through Europe, they um, they come. Uh, it's dark out. It's late. They're kind of like lost, and they come into this this pub, and it was um, it was a pub in a small village somewhere in in the UK, and so they walk in, and people are just like looking. It was a dark, really dark night, and so anyway, so. Uh, they're they're lost and they're asking for direction and they, you know so the villagers are warning some of them are warning them not to leave to stay in the pub um because they know that at night the werewolf you know the wolf comes out and um some of them tell them like how to go but they give them specific instruction and they tell them stay on the path do not deviate from the path stay on the path so the two young men leave and they're walking they're on the path and they keep looking and so now they're being distracted by their talk being distracted by their foolishness whatever they're joking before they know it they realize that they lost the path they lost sight of the path now they're in the middle of nowhere and it's dark out and they and next thing you know you hear the wolf the wolf starts howling anyway so they wound up losing their way because they didn't pay attention to their path. They didn't keep their eyes on the path. So we read in Psalm 119, 105, where it says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. So we are to keep ourselves focused on the path, on the light. And in John 8, 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So, if you don't want to feel lost in this world, if you want to, and I'm not just talking about physically lost, I'm talking about spiritually lost, you know, lost in your mind, in your heart. Um, if you don't want to feel lost, keep your eyes focused on that path, and that path is none other than Jesus Christ. And, um, you know, we read about in scripture how, you know, he is the light of the world, it says here. And uh, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that no one comes to the Father except through him. And I believe that to my core. Every believer should, should know that and, and believe that. That the only way to heaven is through Jesus Christ himself. So if you find yourself lost, turn back. Turn back and look for that path. And start that walk again with that path. And that path is Jesus Christ. And also, the Word of God tells us not to look to the left or to the right. Okay? But keep focus straight ahead. So, um, if you find yourself at a point where you're lost, confused, bewildered, whatever 
you know, adjective you want to use, um, if you find yourself lost, go back to that path. Return to that first love of yours, who is Jesus Christ. And if you never knew him, give your life to him, surrender to him, and ask him to come and be Lord and Savior of your life. You know, admit that you're a sinner like we all are. Repent of your sins and turn away from the things that are leading you into sin, that are keeping you in bondage. And just turn to the Lord. And He will guide you. He, but the Lord has the Lord has set a path for every single one of us. But sadly, many of us don't find it until we find Him first. Because He is our guide. He is our compass. He is the one that leads us on those paths through life. And we have only one path that leads to salvation. That leads to eternal life. And that is Jesus Christ. Um, so, anyway. So, I just want to end it here. And I, I wanted to share this tiny little walk with you guys as I get ready to go for a run and I pray that uh, you know that his light will shine before you and that will lead you to you know his path and his way not the world's way one that one last thing I wanted to close with um I know that the the world is is getting crazy there's a lot of craziness out there in this world a lot of craziness I mean we don't even have to look for it anymore. It's there. It's right in the open. It's easy to see, easy to spot. And there's so much doom and gloom in this world. There's so much hate. There's so much division. There's so much war. There's, that you name it. There's so much negativity in this world that you don't even have to f look for it. It's going to find you. But what we're to do is look for and find the things that are good in this world, that are good in this life. The simple things. And, you know, to me, the simple things that are most important. Like this walking on the path just going for a light run enjoying the, the trees and the birds and you know the, the sky is it's a little cloudy but it's still beautiful those are the simple things in life that we need to enjoy because fixating our eyes and fixating our minds on social media and all the garbage that's out there it's not healthy we need to feed our body okay you know we know as christians we know that our body is the temple of the holy spirit we need to feed our body with the Word of God. We need to feed our body in prayer. But we also need to feed our body with enjoying the things that light, that God has given us in this world. And yes, man's going to create a lot of ugliness through everything that man does. But we still see the beauty and the grandeur of God. And you see how beautiful it is around here with the trees and everything. These are the things that we should focus on. We need to give this kind of time, as I see all the beautiful flowers, we should give this kind of time to the Holy Spirit, to our temple. We need to be, feed our body right, and we can't just be soaking in garbage all day long. We need to stop for a bit, for a respite, and just feed the Holy Spirit the beautiful things of life, the beautiful things that God has given us. Anyway, with that, I will let you go right now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you want. God bless you.